The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this tutorial we're going to go through the extend command. Now here we have a line, a circle, a series of lines, a line, and an arc. And what I want to do is I'll, I want to extend these lines until they intersect this line here. And I'm going to do it with the extend command. I can get the extend command different ways. Of course, here in the modify toolbar, we have extend. We have it here in the under trim. You'll notice extend in the ribbon. You can also type in EX for extend. There it is and at the keyboard. So different ways to invoke the extend command. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick the extend button from the modify toolbar. Now here's what it says select objects but here's what I need you to remember. When you see select objects in the extend command you need to select what you want to extend to. That's your first pick. What you want to extend to. So in this case, I want to extend those red lines to this green one right here. So I picked what I want to extend to, and now it's asking me to se select the objects that I want to extend. This is one here. This is the other. Oop, wait a minute. I forgot to press enter. Now, notice it even gives you like a preview of what's going to be happening. There's the there's this, it extending to the green line, all of them, and all I have to do is pick, 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 and pick, and I've extended them all. Press Enter to finish the command, and the extension is done. Now I'm going to undo this. When you have a series of lines that you have to extend, you don't have to do pick, 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 pick. You don't have to select them one at a time. You can select the extend command. I'll do it here. It's under the trim. Extend. And once again, what you want to extend to this line. Press enter. Now type in the, the letter F for fence. It's a method of selection. And press enter. And it asks me for the first fence point. It's going to be here. I'm going to extend it. Notice how all the lines are Giving, giving me a preview and I'm going to pick here for the second point, press enter, enter one more time and we're done. And I extended all the lines at one time. And the extend command will work not only with lines and lines but lines and circles. I'm going to go ahead and pick the extend command again. I'm going to pick the circle. I want to extend to the circle, press enter and then I want to pick the line. And notice how I extended it to the circle. Enter one more time to release. Now, here I have an arc. I can e also extend an arc to this line here. I'm going to go ahead and pick extend here from the ribbon. I'm going to pick the line. Press enter. And when I come, notice it's going to give you a preview right there. I'm going to pick. And there it is. I've extended the arc to the line. I'm going to undo this because I want to show you another command. Now, I'm going to escape. There is another command that I want you to learn, and that is a command called lengthen. L-E-N-G-T-H-E-N. -E lengthen. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension this line. I'm going to select just a regular old linear dimension from the dimension toolbar. Pick and pick and down. I want you to notice I did change it to two decimal places. So if you do this, it'll probably have the four decimal places and it's still correct. But it's two inches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in L-E-N for lengthen. Press enter. And I want you to notice the command prompt. It says the options that you have are delta, percent, total, and dynamic. The default this time is dynamic, and that's the one that I want you to select. However, whenever you have a chance, try these others as well and see what they do. They're pretty. They're pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good tool. All right, I'm going to type in dy, dy for dynamic. Press enter, and I'm going to come here. 
this is to the green line, pick it, I'm polar tracking to the right, I'm going to make this line two inches further, I'm going to move it along two, two inches more, I'm going to type in two and enter, and notice I've got this line, it was two inches, now it's four inches. I'm not finished with the command. Watch what happens when you finish this particular command. I'm going to press enter again. And now the dimension changes. It updates itself and it shows that this line is now four inches. So in this tutorial you learn how to do the extend command and the lengthen command. Remember I, I encourage you to go ahead and go through the other options in lengthen and uh, they'll work really well for you.